Today we are going to look at recurrence relations. The National Five Essential Skills are Percentages, Sequences and Patterns. A recurrence relation is a rule to describe a sequence. It lets us know how to get from one term in a sequence to the next term. For example, if we look at the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to get from one term in the sequence to the next term, we would add on 1. However, we need to write this mathematically and find a formula for the recurrence relation. We could say that un plus 1 equals un add-on 1, with u0 equals 1. un plus 1 is the next term in the sequence, un is the previous term, and u0 is your starting or initial value. Example 1. How much would Fred have in the bank after one year if his initial investment was £500 and the interest rate was 5% per annum? You have seen questions like this at National 5 and you would use compound interest to solve it. So looking at the percentage in the bank after one year, we would start with 100% and add on 5% which would equal 105%. We would then find 105% of £500, but we need to change the 105% to decimal form. 500 times 1.05 is equal to £525. This is how you would answer the question at National 5. We can use recurrence relations to describe how you would get the value of Fred's investment for consecutive years. So we can see that UN plus 1 equals 1.05 multiplied by UN. So to get the next term in the sequence, you multiply the previous term by 1.05. And our starting value is 500. So to get the value after year 1, it's 1.05 times U0. 1.05 multiplied by 500 and again we get the answer £525. Example 2. How much would Fred have in the bank after two years if his initial investment was £500, the interest rate was 5% per annum and he added £50 to his account each year? Again, we first of all need to state how much is in the bank after each year percentage-wise. So we start with 100% and we add on 5%. So there's 105% at the end of each year. So year 1, we would work out 500 times 1.05. But then we would need to add on £50 because he is adding £50 to his account each year. So the end of year one now he has £575. If we want to look at the value he has after year two it would be £575 times 1.05, £603.75 and then he'll add £50 to this which gives us a total of £653.75. Again, we can set up a recurrence relation to describe how you would get the value of Fred's investment for consecutive years, even when we're adding £50 each year. The recurrence relation would be UN plus 1 equals 1.05 UN, but we then need to add on 50. And again, our starting value, U0, was £500. So to get the value at the end of year 1, we would name that U1 equals 1.05 times U0 add on 50. So it's 1.05 times our starting value of 500 add on 50 to give an answer at the end of year 1 of £575. Again, to get the value at the end of year 2, you would multiply the previous year, which is year 1, by 1.05 and then add on £50. 1.05 times 575 add 50 and again the end of year 2 we get an answer of £653.75.
at higher, the general form of a recurrence relation is un plus 1 equals a un plus b. a is always where your percentage would be within this general form. a and b are any real numbers and u0 is specified. These are called linear recurrence relations of order 1. Example 3. A patient is injected with 156 ml of a drug. Every 8 hours, 22% of the drug passes out of the patient's bloodstream. To compensate, a further 25 ml dose is given every 8 hours. So every 8 hours, 22% leaves the bloodstream, but 25 ml dose is then given to the patient. We have to A. Find the recurrence relation for the amount of drug in his bloodstream and B. Calculate the amount of drug remaining after 24 hours. So, if we first of all look at the percentage in the blood after every 8 hours. So, at the start we have 100% but every 8 hours it drops by 22. So, 100% take away 22% would leave us with 78% left in the bloodstream. Again, we need to write this in decimal form for our recurrence relation. So, that would be 0 0.78. The start of our recurrence relation, un plus 1, equals 0 0.78 un. But we then are adding 25 mils every 8 hours as well. So we would add on 25 and our starting value is 156. Now looking at part b, we need to calculate the amount of drug remaining after 24 hours. So we need to think about how many lots of 8 are in 24 hours because our recurrence relation describes what's happening every 8 hours. So every 8 hours the drug passes out of the bloodstream, therefore we need to find the level of the drug after 8 hours, then 16 and then 24, i.e. U1, U2 and U3. So our starting value is 156 mils and to get the value of or the level of drug in the blood after eight, the first eight hours, which is U1, we do 0 0.78 multiplied by U0 plus 25. 0 0.78 times 156, add on the 25, will give us an answer of 146.68. So that's the amount of the drug in mils after eight hours. To get the value after 16 hours, which is U2, it's 0 0.78 times U1 plus 25. 0 0.78 times 146.68 add on 25 will give an answer of 139.4104 mils of the drug in the patient after 16 hours. Please remember to leave as many decimal places as you can so your answer at the very end is as accurate as it can be. And then for U3, the level of drug in the patient after 24 hours, we do 0 0.78 multiplied by U2 add 25. 0 0.78 times 139.4104 add 25 will give us 133.7401. And we can now round that last answer to say that after 24 hours the patient will have 133.74 mils of the drug left in their blood. Now try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. And the answers for A, the recurrence relation is UN plus 1 equals 0 0.3 UN add on 300 with U0 being 1000. And part B, Ready for picking after three days would be 444. U3 is 444. Please self-assess your progress. If you would like extra practice, turn to page 70 or page 72 of your textbook. So what have we learned today? To form a recurrence relation, we need to follow some key steps. Step 1 is find out the percentage that is left. 
Step 2, change the percentage to a decimal. Step 3, insert the decimal in place of A in the general form UM plus 1 equals AUM plus B. And step 4, insert any values that are added or subtracted into B.